It's come to my attention not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Oh my beautiful Leo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Leo, which tarot cards resonate with you and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all through the comments. As well, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, Leo, or you just enjoy my vibes early, I'd appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, Leo, because it does help me out a lot, and I was super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. But remember, Leo, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, darling. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the tarot cards are just here today, Leo, to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live, Leo, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, let's just get into your weekly horoscope today, Leo. I want to see where it is you guys are at right now, how it is my Leos are feeling in this current time and space. Let's see what's going on with y'all, Leo, this week. Let's see what's going on with you. All right, we have coming in the King of Air, the King of Swords. This card says, speak your mind with confidence, seeking out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. So definitely this is a week for you, Leo, that I feel like you are very introspective. You guys have been this way for a little bit, I would say, Leo, because it seems to be like there's, I can't help but feel like there's been a situation that's been tripping you up, especially from reflecting on your last week's reading, Leo. So it does make me wonder what is going on for y'all in this current uh, time that has you just continuously in your head. But I don't think this is a bad thing, though, right now. This King of Air, this King of Swords, this shows to me, Leo, that you have a really good head on your shoulders. You have a good perspective on how things are being handled right now, or rather, I guess, what's going on. And how you guys are processing it in a good way, I guess is what I and trying to say, Leon. So, yeah, let's see if we can get any more clarifiers on this uh, King of Air, this King of Swords. See what, you know, get some extra details, darling. Let's see here. We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. All right, so this is really confirming in, honing in on a very positive message, Leo, in that this is a very positive switch for you guys. Um, I do, does, I can't help but uh, feel like though that this is this is kind of associated with you guys claiming your power in a sense so this may be in a sense of like i guess what i'm trying to say leo is that this ten of wands could be kind of associated with people um or taking yourself out of environments more so is what i want to say uh leo you know, like you're taking yourself out of environments and it's through you taking yourself out of those environments you're no longer like having to sustain or like tend to other people is something that i'm just feeling uh that's all intuitive though but, okay ten of cups coming in here now <laughs> i'm not happy in the sense that i'm that i was right i guess during this tarot format um just because this signifies to me leo of like the emotional adjustment that you're going through because ten of cups in the upright usually talks about that family life darling right i mean you look at the card but when you have this in the reverse, this is showing to me, Leo, that there's a little bit of disruption going on in the home life, going on with your personal circle. Your, uh, you know, I say family, but, you know, I feel like Ten of Cups more so just signifies the people that you hold, you know, the people that you hold closely to, those that, like, bring some sort of emotion out of you. It seems to be a little bit of disruption there. And so with you being the King of Swords, King of Air, it's really showing to me, like, you're in this process, Leo, of really... You know, I say that you guys have a good idea, and you do, Leo, but I feel like this is still trying to, like, you're constantly assessing the situation, trying to be as much of the adult in the situation as possible, because maybe perhaps you feel as if you're being the only adult in the situation. Four of Wands in the reverse. It feels really like, I don't know, Leo, like... It's almost this situation, Leo, where it's like someone's trying to... Um, check out of the situation and just be like you're not and i feel like you're not arguing with them anymore it feels like you're dealing with some type of person who potentially might be irrational we'll say right or someone who's just highly emotional during this whole process i don't know what's going on between y'all um 
and they seem like they're kind of checked out and like trying to walk out the door actively. But with the four, and I say that you aren't, you aren't fighting with it right now, but the star card shows to me where it's like, you still want to keep trying and keep feeding energy into the situation. So it seems like, but you don't know how. It seems to be like the dilemma that you're having and that's why you're in this king of air situation. Um, Leo, you don't know how to handle this situation. You don't know how to, re it feels like you kind of feel helpless in the situation. You don't know what to do, All right? The star card coming in here, it shows that you really want this, but from the four of wands in the reverse, it's not really looking promising right now. Um, so some of you guys might be, this is giving me very much so like, an energy of where it's like some of y'all might be going through a breakup right now. Some of y'all might be in the process. You don't know where you stand with your job, right? You might be worried about if you're going to have to quit your job or something. And it feels like you're trying to um, figure out your next right move. So let's see how this turns out for you this week, Leo. We have the wheel card. Archangel Michael stepping forward. Number one for numerology, Leo. And also look up the uh, number one to see how it relates to you in this reading. Um... I would also say Archangel Ar uh, Michael, if your spiritual practices, belief system subscribes to this, Leo, excuse me, then connect to Archangel Michael this week because he is reaching out to you. Now this card says, ooh, what is this air in my hand? I'm trying not to belch in front of y'all, Leo, uh, but my body's making it hard, darling. Uh, so this card says, a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward, fortune is on your side. So this, I mean, the card itself says it, right, Leo? So you get an affirmation that I'm not trying to just blow smoke up your you-know-what, right? And this is, Michael brings forth the message that things are going to pan out properly for you. And so definitely what I would just say based off of this so far, the best thing you can do is maintaining this king of swords, king of air situation, Leo, where you're not necessarily reacting um, to the situation. You're kind of just like doing your best to keep a level head and like, I almost want to say, wait the situation out. Maybe the clarifiers will prove me wrong, but um, yeah, the full card in the reverse. So this is showing to me a situation of where it's like you feel like you maybe like this chapter is over and you would have to begin a new chapter with something. Um, I do get the sense here, though, that you're not going to like, I don't know. It, I, I'm, I feel like I'm tapping into a Leo that has a little uh, fear about losing something that they care deeply about. Um, and they don't know how to, they don't want to even entertain the idea about how to continue on with their life without this situation being part of their life whether this is a person a job or what have you and so that seems to be like the ultimate fear and so when you have this fool card in the reverse with the michael this is showing to me like don't worry this is going to work out in your favor your chapter is not going to be reset your journey is not going to be reset six of pentacles coming in here talking about that nice balance um things are going to work out uh leo so the best thing i can say at this time is just do what you can to keep your head afloat but do what you can to not spiral too much darling right spiral is the worst thing. Six of Pentacles is showing to me that things are going to be coming into balance really soon, uh, Leo. And I kind of just get the sense that it's due to some time, right? You're doing your part by keeping a level head, allow the other side of things to figure it out. Six of Cups coming in as well. This is a card talking about, uh, this signifies history, so an energy that you have history with. So, so really showing to me, again, this is probably a connection that you've had in your life for quite some time. Six of Cups also represents an offer being given, right? And so when you, again, you have this paired with the wheel card, fortune is on your side and a situation suddenly moving forward. Um, this shows to me that an extension of like communication, whatever that extension is, whatever that six of cup exchange is, I feel like is going to come forward to bring forth that balance with that six of pentacles that we talk about, uh, Leo. And that's where things just, you feel a lot better about the situation. Queen, queen of pentacles. Yeah. You feel a lot better about the situation and almost just like once the stress itself is handled, once this uh friction or whatever is resolved in your life uh leo then it almost allows you to go back to focusing on that queen of pentacles and i kind of feel like um that queen of pentacles for a lot of you guys why i know most tarot readers would associate this with like just doing self-care and stuff like that i kind of feel like this kind of goes deeper because i feel like my leos that i'm tapping into are more so business oriented and like um i don't know I guess I don't need to go further into that but, because it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, so let's see. Um, 
the end result of this whole thing by the end of this week, Leo, you have the page of fire, page of wands, beautiful card, fresh start card, new, some an exciting new endeavor, use your originality and ingenuity. So Leo, I want to point out with this, right? There's a theme here. You have the wheels of fortune turning into your side, right? Things start looking up throughout the week for you. You had the Six of Cups as well as the clarifier for that wheel card coming in, talking about an offer. Page of Wands talks about a new and exciting endeavor, things picking up for you, using your originality and ingenuity. This is allowing you to feel more like yourself associated with this fresh start. So you just feel a lot better about a situation, uh, Leo. And I don't know. I definitely feel like you should kind of anticipate some type of offer coming in, whether this is a social thing, whether this is like a job opportunity, something's coming in that really like turns things around for you. All right. So let's get some more clarifiers. We have the two of swords in the reverse for you. This allows you to continue going like again, a card of where it's like continuing going forward, no longer um, at a crossroads trying to figure out how to handle something, you know, no longer pretending like trying to feeling like you have to pretend um, about a situation is not bothering you as much as before because you're just getting like a fresh start again. Uh, Queen of Swords in the reverse. You're letting your guard down. I see this as Leo, you're letting your guard down and kind of just I don't know it feels like your my leos are going to be a little start becoming a little bit more vulnerable this week and i really enjoy this uh ace of swords coming in in the reverse as well as the nine of swords in the reverse so there's a situation leo um associated with this this has been where it's like this kind of comes in as a message where it's just like the thoughts that you had the things that you thought you needed to protect yourself from leo it's not actually the case don't worry about it don't you know this is very much so for my like i'm connecting to a leo that are just like my fighters right and so sometimes my fighters have to go think about the worst case scenarios and it's been stressing you out a lot i'm seeing this this is like how you've been handling the situation and just what you're you know it feels like you've been expecting the worst and now i feel like you're kind of realizing that uh with this ace of swords in the reverse the thoughts that you're having and this you know the stress that you're having nine of swords being in the reverse as well confirming where it's just like those thoughts you're having not actually something that you need to be stressing about uh leo so i hope this brings a little bit of a uh, relief to you leos uh this week truly because i know you guys have been absolutely going through it darling so this seems to be a week of reprieve for y'all finally so i'm so happy for y'all so now leo let's get it into y'all's social situations y'all's social relationships this week see what's going on there because remember leo we have more than just uh romantic relationships in our life we have work relationships we have platonic friends best friends family darling everything right let's see if we can get any clarifiers on this see if this if your ten of cups from your general portion of your reading uh leo has any effect on this now Five of fire, yep, yeah, this is the conflict, darling. Some type of social relationship giving you the conflict. This card says competing goals, bothersome details, and conflict with others, my beautiful Leo. So this is, again, seems to be like a social situation. Seven of air in the back, you probably, mm, you probably just, <laughs> you had your doubts when it comes to this connection, or you have your doubts, right? So let's see, let's get some more clarifiers. The emperor card coming in here, so it's gonna be handled this week right definitely going to be handled this week king of wands something that you felt there's the situation of being like feeling like feelings of unempowered and unempowerment if that makes sense if that's even a word leo uh the magician card in the reverse this is honey this is a situation that y'all just y'all think was just dead in the water and then the ten of pentacles in the reverse <laughs> All right, Leo. So this is nothing. This is not a sunshine and rainbow reading. This shows to me, and this may not even be related to what we are tapping into for your general portion, right? Because this is a general reading. It's all different. But <laughs> I'm seeing this as a connection of where it's like, truthfully, um, you don't feel good about this connection at all. And this Emperor card here, it feels like you're taking matters into your own hands and how you're going to be handling this connection. Um, because it feels like it does nothing but just make you feeling disempowered um, and just not productive. So yeah, it does feel like you're kind of taking matters into your own hands to a connection, Leo, that you just don't feel good around anymore. How does this pan out though? 
Eight of Swords in the uh, in the upright coming in here. Yeah, it feels like the social situation just has you feeling stuck. This feels really restrictive. And so I see this for you, Leo, and you guys kind of taking matters into your own hands and just feeling like checking out and being like, all right, deuces. Right? Maybe this is kind of reminiscent of your general portion, Leo, in the sense that maybe later on it'll like they'll figure out like where they messed up and stop trying to intrude and like trying to make your life more difficult than it needs to be, honey. But um, yeah, let's see. Well, well I guess we'll see later on uh, <laughs> as the weeks go by, darling, right? So let's get into my Leo's financial and career this week. So we have the Ten of Air, Ten of Swords coming in here. This card says the end of a difficult situation, embracing the change, and expect things to get better now, recovering from an addiction. So my Leos, you guys are recently overcoming like a hurdle when it comes to you. Maybe there's things that have just been slow. Notice I want to say, remember how I was saying at the beginning, Leo, where it's like I feel like I'm tapping into my Leos who are just like very bossed up and just like very about their money, right? With that Queen of Pentacles. Um, this Ten of Swords just showing to me of where I feel like almost you're, I get this sense of where it's like, you're gonna be no, like, this is more so intuitive, so take this part as you will, um, Leo. But I do get the sense that like, I keep on seeing like a spotlight. Um, so I can't help but feel like, I don't know if your business or just money in general, your flow of money um, hasn't been as active recently, but I feel like there's a spotlight being covered onto it. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So yeah, you guys were definitely feeling uninspired, unmotivated to continue pushing forward during this journey, uh, Leo. Definitely feeling that. The Moon card coming in here. Why is this Moon here? With the Sun card in the reverse. Definitely, Leo, I feel like you guys are coming out with just a very long, like, like, I don't know if you guys are just having like a creator's block or what have you, but there's some type of block that, you know, is this even like depression, honey? Where, cause this is very much so reminiscent, uh, Leo, someone that was like been depressed for a while that hasn't been able to, um, do more and like make more money and, um, yeah, really being in a rut. Temperance card coming in in the reverse. So Leo, what I would be saying this week, I feel like you guys need to take care of your social situation. I feel as if that's going to be what's okay. Cause I feel like your social situation or there's some type of outside source of stress that's in fact impacting um, how you're making your money right now. If it is just depression, darling, then I mean, I'm not a psychologist or mental health, or health professional, right? So who am I to tell you what to do or how to handle things, um, Leo? But I do get this sense that you guys need to do some work on yourself and like looking in the mirror and telling nice things to yourself. I feel like you guys have just been fighting for a really long time, Leo. And so I feel like you guys have a lot of passion. You have a lot of like ready to just go, 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 Leo. And you know, you've been handling so many things uh, at you at once, but you haven't had time to just take a moment to reset and breathe. Cause I do feel like as if like some of the energy outside take this again take this as you will leo some of this outside energy is impacting you and your ability to bring further finances bring further wealth into your life so take that as you will leo i hope you found this reading helpful in some type of way if you found any tarot cards that resonated darling be sure to let me know in the comments below give this video a like and subscribe if you'd like to book a personal reading with me leo leo my personal website is simplyvelka.com follow me on my social medias tiktok twitter instagram everything darling simply velka if you have, if you also have a friend that's into tarot leo send them this video or one of my videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well and until next time leo i love you so much